operations with fractions. We need to be able to add, subtract, multiply and divide with fractions. And we can do this with a calculator and showing working. So for all of these I'll be going through how to do it with working and we'll be checking with the calculator. When we're adding and subtracting we need a common denominator. That means we need the number on the bottom of the fraction to be the same on each of them and then we just add or subtract depending on what we're doing the numerators. So we look at these, we work out that our lowest common multiple of 10 and 5 is 10. So we'll need to get our 3 fifths, three fifths to be something over 10. We rewrite our fraction. 5 times 2 would give me 10. So I need 3 times 2 is 6. And I've got 6 over 10 plus 7 over 10. We add and subtract the numerators. This is 6 tenths plus seven tenths. My answer is going to be in tenths and six plus seven. Oh, excuse me. Um, so we have, of course, got 13. If you prefer, you can rewrite this as six plus seven over 10 to remind you that you don't add together the denominators. You're quite welcome to leave this as an improper fraction. If we wanted to do this on the calculator instead, 3, use the fraction key over 5. To get out of it, use the arrow, plus 7 over 10. Pop that in. I've got 13 over 10. We got the correct answer. Subtracting, we still need a common denominator. And to find a common denominator, you're looking for the lowest common multiple of the denominators, which for 3 and 5 is 15. So I'll show working for the two separate fractions. 2 thirds, I need to get that to become something over 15. 3 times what would give me 15? That would be 5. So I need to times by 5 on the top as well. 2 times 5 is 10, so I've got 10 over 15 is my 2 thirds. 1 fifth times something has to end up over 15. 5 times what is 15? That would be times 3. 1 times 3 would be 3. So this fraction would be 3 over 15. So I have 10 over 15 minus 3 over 15 our answer will end up over 15 because we only subtract or add the numerators. 10 minus 3 is 7. To check with a calculator, 2 over 3 minus 1 over 5, 7 over 15. So working, showing the working is required for a B grade or an A grade. If you can't manage to show the working or you get it wrong, and you just put the correct answer, that's enough for a C grade. Multiplying has different rules. It does not need a common denominator. All you do is you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. Now, just worth remembering, times in maths is of. So this is actually saying three-fifths of one quarter, or one quarter of three-fifths, because multiplying can work either way. When we need to show our working, it's a good idea to rewrite it with the numerators multiplied on the top of one fraction, and the denominator, five times four, on the bottom and then it's as easy as doing 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 4 is 20. To do it with a calculator, 3 over 5, hop out of the fraction, times 1 over 4, hop out of the fraction, equals 
3 over 20. Dividing is actually quite tricky. And so mathematicians came up with a trick that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal just mean, means flipped fraction. So the reciprocal of 3 over 5 is 5 over 3. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So our steps are change the divide to times and flip the fraction you're dividing by. Not the first fraction, the second one here that you're dividing by. So that is 9 over 10 times 5 over 3. Now remember that a multiplication of fractions is written as the top times the top, or the numerators multiplied, over the denominators multiplied. And you could just multiply these out, but there's a quick trick to make your life easier. You can cancel out common factors. 5 could come out of the 10 and the 5. We could divide that out and be left with a 1 and a 2. 3 could come out of the 3 and the 9. We could divide that out and be left with a 1 and a 3. And that's 3 times 1 is 3 over 2 times 1 is 2. Or, of course, we could do 9 times 5 is 45, 10 times 3 is 30, and simplify that fraction either with our calculator, 45 over 30, 3 over 2, or by realizing that we could divide them both by 15. Now this was a lot of different ideas in here, and of course we can still just divide this out. 9 over 10 divided by 3 over 5, we get 3 over 2. So working to get a B or an A grade, but you're supported by a calculator and you can check to work out that you're correct. When dealing with mixed numbers, your best bet is to change to an improper fraction first. If you're really not sure how to change this to an improper fraction, this is 1 and 1 tenth or 1 plus 1 tenth. You could do 1 plus 1 over 10 and get 11 over 10. If you couldn't remember how to change this to an improper fraction. Times, let's get this one changed. This is 2 and 1 third. 2 plus 1 over 3 is 7 over 3. Much better idea to change anything to a mixed number first, then do the operation. This will be 11 times 7, 77, over 10 times 3, 30. If you're not sure if you can simplify it or not, do 77, sorry, 77 over 30. Note we can't simplify it, and so that's our final answer. You're quite welcome to leave that as an improper fraction as your answer or of course you could change it to a mixed number 30 goes into 77 twice because that would be 60 leaving me with 17 over 30 as my fraction 